Welcome to yet another episode of Applied Salesforce. In this episode, I shall walk you through a micro project involving lightning web components, static resources, pulling images dynamically from static resources, and all other programming concepts around the same. Okay. Without much ado, let's look at the micro project. Let me read through it. Kali, VP of Sales at upquotient.com, a career transformer and an amplifier company, has interested you, an enterprising Salesforce developer, to get the below proof of concepts working. Remember, it's a proof of concepts, and based on it, uh, upquotient.com may get multiple application maintenance orders. Okay, so it's very crucial. And uh, that's the reason you as an enterprising Salesforce developer has gotten to uh, gotten assigned to this activity. OK, with that intro, let's look at uh, the details. One of the customers, beautiful people. They are well known trend centers in the apparel market. One of upquotient.com's customers wanted its sales agents an intuitive way, right? An intuitive way to display product images. They wanted only five groups of buttons displaying the most recent trends in the apparel market that they endorse. So that's the crux of the requirement. And um, this is customary for you to uh, you know, thoroughly analyze the requirements. And after you thoroughly analyze the requirement, you jot down the high level components that's required so you understood that those are product images so you need to um, you know get the appropriate product images but for the sake of uh, proof of concepts for the sake of poc um, i have uh, used the trailhead characters instead then you also uh, understood that the images have to be uh, uploaded into static resource and of course uh, lightning web component for the ui part and uh, button group because it's a group of buttons instead of having um, you know disparate buttons individual buttons the group looks pretty uh, good from the user experience point of view and the right uh, javascript even because clicking the idea is they have given it as intuitive the intuitive way to display the product images so ideally you know uh, without the click right you if you're dynamically able to pull the images from the static resources without the click that's the best way to build and of course uh, the style if you wanted to add uh, some style to your images let's say you wanted the rounded corners you wanted some sort of transformation you can definitely employ uh, the css part that's the high level technical design so let's look into the details now so the idea is first to bundle appropriate images into a folder so you create a folder called images and push all the Im image files the png files into the images folder and uh, you compress the same so once you compress it you also name the compressed folder as trailhead characters okay so that's what um, i'll be showing you so this is trailhead characters the compressed folder inside this you have an images folder and inside this folder you have multiple uh, images these are all trailhead uh, characters let's say happy astro blaze okay this one astro blaze uh, your knee and uh, einstein okay so look at the path right so you have the trailhead characters um and that's a compressed file and within that you have a single folder called as images and all the images are placed inside this folder so this path is very crucial because uh, you will have to create a reference when you uh, when you write down your uh, components inside your JavaScript. You need to create a reference to this particular file. Okay, so let's say we move on. So this is how it looks like: trailhead characters, and then images, then the multiple image files. Then uh, upload the compressed folder. So the next step is to um, you know upload this folder. A compressed folder into the static resources you could see this here i just you know browse to locate the static resources menu and you have this trailhead characters so that's the static resource name let me 
edit this. Okay, so you have the trailed characters and uh, the file which is uploaded. Okay, and this is how it looks. Okay, you have the tra trailed, uh, the static, uh, the trailed characters are pushed in, into the images folder and then the compressed folder. Compressed folder got uh, uploaded and the name given to the static resources, trailed characters. So it happened to be identical. It need not be identical, right? So uh, upload the compressed folder into static resource, name it trailhead characters. It can be anything, right? Uh, it just happened to be identical to the compressed folder name. Okay, so next step is to create a lightning web component. And then after that, we will surface that inside the lightning app page. And um, another important thing is, uh, since they have already mentioned that they want it in very interior way, so clicks we need to avoid, but we'll use the mouse over JavaScript event um, to display the appropriate images dynamically. Okay, so with that background, let's dive into the code. I will quickly walk you through the code. So this is the lightning component is created. And for, uh, this is pretty simple, straightforward um, lines of code. So you could see this is the uh, HTML part of your lightning component. All I have is a lightning card okay with uh, the title and uh, i have a div element with um, the uh, uh, class as uh, uh, medium medium and margin so this is a margin so the margin is um, margin allows you enough space from the edge right so because i wanted the character and without touching the either boundaries right all the four different boundaries so that's the um, that's a need for the margin. It's similar to your HTML and CSS um, margin, right? And um, I wanted to also, you know, align the image to the center of uh, the div, right? So div elements uh, center, okay? So that's the reason why we have align alignment to the center. And um, uh, it is it is quite intuitive uh, to use the button group instead of individual buttons. So lightning button group, and these are individual buttons. So I have about five different buttons, and you um, you uh, look at this label. So the label is named after the name of the images. So you have Appy, Astro, Blaze, Yoni, and Einstein, and inside this folder, inside the images folder, you could see Ditto. Right, so it's identical. Okay, so there's a reason why it is identical. And um, the second section of the lightning card is uh, the placeholder to show you, show the images dynamically. So again, it is uh, the medium, uh, the the margin is given as uh, small, and uh, it is uh, centered. The image is centered. Okay, so this sums up our HTML part of it. It's quite simple and straightforward now looks look at the javascript um, code so the idea is we haven't mentioned any of the um, you know the events here right so the click event or mouse over event etc so that would be done as part of uh, the event would be the event handlers would be associated um, with these elements um, inside the javascript code so let's look at the uh, javascript code javascript code is pretty straightforward and intuitive as well so let's look at uh, the first line. This, this is uh, customary to um, to import the lightning element class from the LWC module. And second one is to create a reference to the static resource. Okay, the reference to the static resource. So you could see this trailhead characters, which is which is nothing but the name that we gave while uploading the static resource. So this is the name. Okay, this represents that. Okay, and then we have a couple of uh, properties, uh, uh, trailhead character image and called ones, and we leverage the lifecycle hook, the rendered callback lifecycle uh, hook. And um, since uh, the rendered callback, uh, you no, know, essentially uh, could run multiple times. Uh, all we wanted to do is to have this particular the code inside this particular hook to run only once so that's the reason we have this boolean property so the first time the boolean property is false 
and um, not or false is uh, going to return true and uh, the control enters this uh, this block and uh, we immediately set the called ones boolean to true and uh, this piece of code is what it, it does the trick right so it associates the mouse over event you could see that here right it associates the mouse over event with uh, all the lightning buttons okay and um, so it is as good as you writing on mouse over inside all of these lightning buttons right so on mouse over equals call the event handler so that's one way to do and this is a pretty intuitive way to have the event handler associated to all the elements within the template okay and how we do it we first uh, get an handle to all the elements with the name lightning button okay so this is going to this particular uh, piece of code right so it's going to return the node list and for each works on the node list and um, this is a callback uh, function and uh, each of these element gets pushed into the callback function as argument and uh, button element it you know for the first time it pushes the first button element and you associate the uh, mouse over event with this uh, element and um, upon mouse over on this particular button element you invoke this particular function arrow function and pass the event object into it and what's happening inside this this is pretty cool so this is your uh, your template string right uh, string interpolation so you have this back ticks and back ticks here and um, this one uh, your trailhead character resource so this is the same thing it gives you it provides you the path until until this point right okay and then you need to traverse inside this compressed folder so inside the images folder and then uh, you need to get a reference to the name of the image and you remember right so we inside the html you have the label is appy astro blaze ernie and einstein so you are able to you know uh, extract the name here so th this one you are trying to construct the name of the image as a whole okay so you get the first part of the file name from the label and then you have the extension added to it that's the beauty of this uh, you know the string um, the template string right so you can combine the expressions along with the string all together into one okay so this gives you the reference to the static resource and this helps you to navigate deeper into the compressed folder and this particular uh, expression right helps you to um, derive the name of the image file uh, through this label and this is an extension okay so the what happens is this it gets pushed into the property right this gets pushed into the property and uh, which in turn gets rendered inside the template okay so this gives you the path of the image and um, and uh, if you wanted to you know do um, some styling to the image element like you wanted to center it you wanted to you know um, uh, have the rounded corners you can very well make use of this image class so it's just a css file right uh, your standard css file and um, i have currently commented it out but you could write whatever you want you wanted the transformation you can write it you wanted the rounded borders you can write it and whatever transformation you wanted to um, uh, to perform on the image you could very well do it so it's just an another file with the same name right and um, after this probably we could uh, deploy it deploy the code the component and uh, i'll quickly walk you through the output yeah it's here let's move on okay so this is this is what you get so let me refresh it okay 
this is an app page okay so this is an app page and um, let me refresh it one more time okay so this is an app page and i have already dragged and drop the LWC into this page. And you could see this because of uh, our, uh, this is centered, right? So that's because of the SLDS inside the div. And um, and the intuitive way, and you could see this, it's uh, it's not disparate buttons, this is a button group. And it it goes really well, and uh, it, it actually fits the requirement. Uh, intuitive display as well as intuitively uh, showing the images or dynamically pulling the images from the static resource. You could see Appy, Astro, Blaze, Ernie, and Einstein. Okay, and um, this is this is what uh, the requirement is. The micro project is all about. The POC is all about, and you uh, you demoed it um, to Kali. He's excited, and um, you are earning to do the same with the beautiful people, a customer next week. Thank you, um, and uh, I will uh, touch base with you with uh, at another video. Until then, bye-bye and take care.